What is the Hare Krishna Mantra? A mantra is a simple sound vibration that purifies the consciousness and awakens love of God. The chanting of the Hare Krishna Mantra, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare, is recommended in the Vedic literature as the easiest method for this age to attain spiritual realization. The transcendental vibration established by the chanting of Hare Krishna Mantra is the sublime method for reviving our transcendental consciousness. As living spiritual souls, we are all originally Krishna conscious entities. But due to our association with matters from time immemorial, our consciousness is now adulterated by the material atmosphere. The material atmosphere in which we are now living is called Maya or illusion. Maya means that which is not. And what is this illusion? The illusion is that we are all trying to be lords of material nature, while actually we are under the grip of her stringent laws. When a servant artificially tries to imitate the all-powerful master, he is said to be in illusion. We are trying to exploit the resources of material nature, but actually we are becoming more and more entangled in her complexities. Therefore, although we are engaged in hard struggle to control nature, we are even more dependent on her. This illusionary struggle against material nature can be stopped at once by revival of our eternal Krishna consciousness. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare is the transcendental process for reviving this original pure consciousness. By chanting this transcendental vibration, we can cleanse away all misgivings within our heart. The basic principle of all such misgivings is the false consciousness that I am the Lord of all. Krishna consciousness is not an artificial imposition on mind. This consciousness is the original natural energy of living entity. When we hear this transcendental vibration, this consciousness is revived. This simplest method of meditation is recommended for this age. By practical experience also, one can person that by chanting this Maha Mantra or the great chanting for deliverance, one can at once feel a transcendental ecstasy coming through from the spiritual strantum. In the material concept of life, we are busy in the matter of sense gratification, as if we were in the lower animal stage. A little elevated from this status of sense gratification, one is engaged in mental speculation for the purpose of getting out of material clutches. A little elevated from this speculative status, then one is intelligent enough. One tries to find out the supreme cause of all causes, within and without. And when one is factually on the plane of spiritual understanding, surpassing the stage of sense, mind and intelligent, he is then on a transcendental plane. This chanting of the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra is enacted from the spiritual platform and thus this sound vibration surpasses all lower stratas of consciousness, namely sensual, mental and intellectual. There is no need therefore to understand the language of mantra, nor is there any need for mental speculation, nor any intellectual adjustments for chanting this Maha Mantra. It is automatic from the spiritual platform and as such anyone can take part in the chanting without any previous qualification. In a more advanced stage of course one is not expected to commit offenses on the grounds of spiritual understanding. In the beginning, there may not be the presence of all transcendental ecstasies which are eight in numbers. These are being stopped as though dumb, perspiration, standing up of hairs on the body, dislocation of voice, trembling, 
fainting of the body, crying in ecstasy and trance. But there is no doubt, the chanting for a while takes one immediately to the spiritual platform and one shows the first symptom of this in the urge to dance along with the chanting of the mantra. We have seen this practically. Even a child can take part in the chanting and dancing. Of course, for one who is too entangled in material life, it takes a little more time to come to this standard point. But even such a materially engrossed man is raised to this spiritual platform very quickly. When the mantra is chanted by a pure devotee of the Lord in love, it has the greatest efficiency on hearers. And as such, this chanting should be heard from the lips of a pure devotee of the Lord, so that immediate effects can be achieved. As far as possible, chanting from the lips of non-devotees should be avoided. Milk touched by the lips of serpent has poisonous effect. The word Hara is a form of addressing the energy of Lord and the word Krishna and Rama sounds of addressing Lord himself. Krishna is the Sanskrit name of God which means all attractive and Rama is another name of God meaning reservoir of all pleasure and Hara is the supreme pleasure energy of the Lord. Change to Hare in the vocative. The supreme pleasure energy of the Lord helps us to reach the Lord. The material energy called Maya is also one of the multi-energies of Lord. And we, the living entities, are also the energy, marginal energy of Lord. The living entities are described as superior to material energy. When the superior energy is in contact with the inferior energy, an incompatible situation arises. But when the superior marginal energy is in contact with the superior energy, Hara, it is established in its happy normal condition. These three words namely Hare, Krishna and Ram are the transcendental seeds of Mahamantra. The chanting is a spiritual call for the Lord and His energy to give protection to the conditioned soul. This chanting is exactly like a genuine cry of a child for its mother's presence. Mother Hara helps the devotee achieve the Lord Father's grace and the Lord reveals Himself to the devotee to chant this mantra sincerely. No other means of spiritual realization is as effective in this age of quarrel and hypocrisy as the chanting of Mahamantra. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Ram Hare Hare. Thank you very much.